when you are applying for an American passport for the first time after you become a US citizen, you will have to apply in person in order to find the right place for you to apply and understand what documents you need to apply. We are going to head over to travel.state.gov under US passports. There are a lot of useful information in this page here. I do encourage you to do some reading, but the summary of it all, if you want to go through the normal process, it's going to take between 10 to 12 weeks to get your passports. But if you pay an additional $60, fee you can obtain your passport within four to six weeks we're going to head over here if you scroll all the way down under i need the passport section and then you want to click apply in person so once you get here the first thing that you will need is a form called form ds11 this is a form that's going to be provided to you during the oath ceremony they will give you a package and one of the documents in that package is form ds11 and i did talk about this in detail in this video up here if you want to check it out but this is the form that you need to fill in order for you to apply it has some basic information about your first name last name address social security information and then in that form you specify what document do you want to apply for you want to apply for a passport book or a passport card which by the way there is a difference and i'm going to talk about the difference between passport book and passport card in an upcoming video they will ask you do you want a normal standard passport book or you want a large version with more pages for you which by the way if you go with that option it's free of charge however down the road if you happen to fill your original passport or your first passwords you will have to pay an additional fee to get more pages for either your visas or just travel entry to other countries so just keep that in mind might as well get the, the free version right now when it's possible so once you apply this form you want to make sure that you do also have or provide evidence of u.s citizenship in this scenario right here since you just became a u.s citizen the proof for your citizenship is the citizenship certification that they also gave you during the oath ceremony all you have to do is to make sure that you sign it and they are going to tell you about that during the oath ceremony as well so you want to take that document with you and you also want to take a photocopy of the original document so both the original and the photocopy same thing applies for your id you want to take the original id and the photocopy of your id on top of that you will have to provide a picture or a photo for your passport what they call the passport photo so to get a passport photo my recommendation is to find a place who provides photo services as well and i am going to show you how you can do that so these are all of the documents that you really need in order for you to apply. So now let's take a look at how you can find the place to apply and let's talk about how you can get your photos taken as well. So if you take a look right here to the right, there is a section called where to apply. So we're going to go in there so there are a lot of options to choose from here. I went with the four to six weeks just to expedite the process. And I'm going to go in here and click expedite at an acceptance facility. And what we are trying to do here is to find the right facility for us. So go in there and add in your zip code, the distance. And if you see this field that right here that says additional search criteria, you can choose a facility that is that has handicap access photo on site or photo nearby so just to make things easier for you we're going to add photo on site this way when you go in there provide the documents they can take your photo they make sure that it has the right dimensions that are required for the application and you're good to go so we're gonna hit search and that is going to return a bunch of facilities to choose from so a couple of things to keep in mind once you pick the facility that is close to you make sure that you call them to a check that indeed they do have photo service on site make sure that you schedule your appointments because some of them take walk-ins but things are different right now during the pandemic so make sure that you call them to schedule your appointment if an appointment is necessary so once you do that all you have to do is to head to the facility have your documents with you and be ready to pay for your application fees so let's take a look at the fees for the application so depending on what product you need the application fee is going to be different so if you are applying for a passport book only you will have to pay 110 dollars plus an execution fee of 35 dollars and if you want to expedite the process that is going to be an additional 60 dollars one thing to keep in mind when you choose the facility make sure that you are checking whether they take all form of payments because some of them don't take a credit card they will ask you for a debit card some of them take checks some of them don't so just make sure that you are prepared ahead of time so that you have a hassle-free experience other feature or service that you are going to benefit from is the possibility 
or the option to track your application process. So all you will have to do is to head over to this link right here, passportstatus.state.gov. I'm going to leave a link in the description box. You have to accept and read the privacy, submit, and that is going to take you to this page right here where you will have to provide your last name, date of birth, social security number, and retype the code. Once you do, you submit your request and that is going to give you the status of your application just to kind of understand where it's standing and when to expect your passport to be shipped and sent to you. This is pretty much it for the application. If you guys have any questions, do let me know in the comments. I typically answer them within 24 hours, I would say. But if you found this video to be useful, do give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel. My name is Habiba. This is Trekking Felds. And keep an eye out for the next video in which I'm going to talk about the difference between the US passport book and the US passport card. Thank you again for watching and I will see you very soon.